We want to obviously make sure we go and follow that up with another good victory. Um, I think we made it more difficult than when it needed to be, um, but we got there in the end, and that was the most important thing. So I think it's important that we go into this game with a bit of confidence. Hopefully, we scored three goals in the last game, so I'm looking to obviously add to our goal tally as well, and um, hopefully put in a good performance. It's not so much the fact that um, we made it more difficult. What that probably does do is, is make sure that we're not um, taking things for granted and, and getting complacent. We need to make sure that we're focused and we really need to work from the first minute to the last minute. You know, we can't afford to sort of clock off. And unfortunately, we did that in that game, but like I said, we got there in the end. Playing against three at the back, um, the width was going to be where we were going to be able to hurt them, you know, because we wanted to stretch that back three. Um, that's why Jacob played and, and Johnny sort of stretched it for us on the other side as well. So um, I thought Josh would have been a real good impact player for us off the bench to, to go and give us that sort of penetration, really. And he did it, you know, and his goal was fantastic. So um, yeah, it was, it was nice. And Alex Pritchard came on, and you could see some of the qualities he's got. Nearly scored with his first touch, and I think he'll, he'll certainly get better and better as the games go by. Better, a lot better than we thought, which is really positive news. So, um, and to be honest, that's only been delivered this morning. So yesterday, we had some concerns over him, but I think it was mainly where he get the knock rather than actually extent of the knock. Um, so I, th I think it was just maybe a little bit of nerve damage, but um, it seemed to have settled down really quickly so far. He's a major doubt for tomorrow, but it's that much better now that um, he could potentially be in contention. So that's how quickly it's improved. Martin will be fine. Martin was targeted for this game anyway, um, so he's been training with the squad for the best part of a week and a half now, and he, he'll be okay. Yeah, I know Gary, I know him well, so um, he did extremely well last year, getting Wigan promoted, but obviously the, the, the brand of football that he wants to play is really expansive, and, and it's difficult when you move up the levels um, to continue that, and, and I think they've probably found that so far. The way Gary wants to play, he wants his team to be brave and get the ball out and play. Um, and I think I think that's that's the right way you would want your team to play. But I think it becomes more difficult when you don't get the results that you desire. Um, the players start to sort of lose a bit of belief in, in what they're trying to do at times, and that, that then becomes difficult. And you need to try and help them. So I, th I think they're sort of in that phase at the moment. Um, but to be honest, we want to make sure that phase continues for one more game. So we've watched pretty much all their games so far this season and Sheffield Wednesday was significantly different from the other games that they had played and it wouldn't surprise me if um, that gets repeated coming to Carroll Road.